Hi, I just wanted to show you a way to get uh, files in and out of the iPhone without having to jailbreak it and without having to use iTunes directly through a Wi-Fi network in the office or home. As well, uh, I found that I, if I want to download any kind of file, I can also f store it on the iPhone and transfer it to my computer, my Windows laptop, without having to resort to using iTunes. I know that Apple um, tends to hide users away from the file system, and I'm used to Blackberries where I could do anything I want with my files and access them locally. Um, but And I know Android allows that too. But on the iPhone, it's a little harder to do. But here's an easy method to do it without having to do any kind of jailbreaking. So first, I want to show you two apps that I've downloaded. One is called my media and one is called remote file manager uh, my media is allowing you to get on the web and download any kind of files or links from the web and store it locally but it doesn't have a way to connect directly at least not the free version to a remote share whereas the remote file manager does allow that so first i want to just show you how you can use my media to for example download a file from the net uh, now you can't do this using safari directly unless you uh, you know maybe there's some special ways to do it but out of the box Safari won't let you do it but if you go to say a file with music say mp3 here's one that has mp3s you go like that and let's just click on some random thing here I don't know any of these artists I don't con I'm not trying to promote piracy or anything but here's uh, f for example this one here okay and there's some kind of a, a music file okay when you click direct download on an I on Safari, it just plays it. It doesn't really let you save it anywhere. But on this one, you hit direct download, and you can click download the file. So let's do that. Um, now the thing is, it won't um, type in the name for you, unfortunately. That's the only drawback with the software. But I'm just going to call it something. I think it's a Latin song of some kind. I'll just hit save. Okay and it's now downloading the file you can see to local storage but it's only local storage for this app it's not actually visible in any other apps but at the bottom here you can do other files you can do music see that's the one there latin mp3 you can hit it and play it okay whatever that is i'm not sure but anyway that's the song and uh... now if i want to get this off or on to the iPhone I can easily I hold it down and I go open another app and I choose to put it to the remote file manager here the free one okay now it's playing it in that but actually let me just pause it here the uh, file as it transferred over to the other app it actually put it into the local directory files for this app now these are not on the app iPhone accessible in the regular area but as soon as you do export or transfer over to this from the uh, my media app it will appear these are just some other files so here it is there you can see it and the nice thing is you you can play have playlists in this app with repeat and shuffle and so on so they're just for testing purposes I put different things in here let me pause that again okay now if I want to actually transfer it or share files back and forth to Windows this app okay allows you to ha set up a Windows network share so that's my Windows laptop there and the way to get that going is on a Windows laptop you basically go to the start menu and type in command like so you'll get a command window okay and then you type in IP config and then you'll be able to see for your your local drive that I'm 192.168.0192 that's my local IP for this computer so if I have a test um, this is for example this 4k test under media I'm gonna share that directory just to show you how it can be done you go to properties and you hit sharing and you go share and you just go share down here and it assigns it a share path and that's it there okay essentially now I c it's visible to the iPhone in this app okay so here we have it okay there's some sample files there if I go now to the iPhone and I'm in um, this screen and I wanna say just you know the file that I just copied I want to transfer that over so I go back 
local. I called it Latin, so there it is there. You hit edit, you select it, like so, and then at the bottom, you press upload. It asks you to where you want to upload it. You hit Windows Laptop and 4K Test. These are other shared folders on my screen, and then you hit save. Okay, after you hit save, it should transfer it over. Now it might take a minute to go, and you can see there. There's nothing there. Okay, it's transferring, and look, it just appeared on the thing there, Latin MP3. Okay, and it's transferred. Done. Okay, you go back. Now, let's see, um, you know, you should be able to open this up here. And essentially, the app, uh, the iPhone shared the file. Now, if I have, say, another song, Let's um, yeah. So there it is. Okay. Now, if I have songs on this computer that I want to transfer over, let's uh, let's just copy this. Oops. Just pretend like it's a call it another song. We'll call it uh, song two or something. Okay. So this is now another file. It's the same music, but I just wanted to show you it's possible now to get this over to here. I go to my Windows laptop. Okay. You go to 4K test, and you'll notice that I have song 2 appearing at the bottom here. So if I want to transfer that over, same thing, edit. I select the song. Now I can select multiple files if I want to transfer. But I want I just picked that one there, and at the bottom it says upload. So I go upload, and it's asking me to where. So I'll choose the local folders for this app, and I'll go uh, save. And usually, it should allow me to upload it. But okay, I figured out what I did wrong. I hit upload, but actually, um, it's called download when you bring it from the PC to this so here it is this is the other file song number two okay you hit edit you select song number two down here and you don't hit upload you hit download download so download to the iPhone you put local let's say I want to put it in here in music and let's go save okay and it should transfer it there we go it says download in progress and there it is done if I now go back to my local storage here on the iPhone under say music I should have it there song 2 okay click that and there it is okay so this is an easy way to grab any kind of information and move it around here I'll show you again some examples let's say let's go over to my media my the, the thing I like about my media is that I can essentially download any file I can get from the web okay so uh, because it gives me that option so let's go for um, example to Google okay and let's look for a file uh, PDF, let's say uh, trick tricks. Okay, so it's going to be maybe a PDF file showing tr tricks. Oh, here, 30 dirty tricks for Acrobat. Okay, so there, click that. It gives me the option to download the file. Unfortunately, this app doesn't let me type the name easily or put it in, so I'm just going to call it tip dot pdf now normally it would um, you should just paste and copy something in there so you don't have to retype everything okay so save okay there it is downloading it it's a bit of a slow server given that's such a small file it's taking a little while but that's the Wi-Fi connection okay so it's on the so it's under other files here now see um, 
tip see and you can open it in this file and see it it collects everything but if I want to transfer it to my laptop in this folder here I just have to go um, press it again open in other apps choose my remote file manager it opens it but as it does so it also puts it inside the local storage of this app so you should see it here right there it says tip now I want to transfer that over I hit edit select it I go upload I choose my Windows laptop 4k test I go save and watch again hit save and there it is see it put it there and so the beauty is I can keep any files I want on either laptop or iPhone I can have the ability to download to my iPhone anytime I want on the go when I'm out there um, and you know bypassing iTunes completely and basically this local storage in this app and also in the other app act as separate repositories um, in order to allow uh, you know local files to be accessed and stores you can make your own folders and you can make subfolders if you want to short sort out your music playlists you can actually just create subfolders and hit play and it'll just play everything for you so I found that this solution is a lot easier for me without requiring any cables at all and allowing me full access to my files and any type of file type that I can download I can now have access to any kind of music uh, without needing to go through iTunes at all and you should be able to also share with other iPhone users in a similar way so hope uh, that helps some of you figure out uh, an easier way to bypass iTunes and still have access to folders and files and manage and email them by the way you can email it too I'll show you how if you go here to local I believe um, in the my media app I'll just switch over to that if I want to say send this, uh, see I downloaded a bar here, netflix.bar just as an example if I click that I can export file and I can choose to mail and there it is there it's attached to my mail so I, you can still send it to anyone you want and, and you'll do anything you need with these things you know if I want to transfer it over to my laptop or back and forth I can do the same let me just cancel this thing so there you have it that's um, using two apps that together uh, make a powerful combination on a non uh, jailbroken phone just stock iOS 7 phone regular um, my media and remote file free um, which you can use to transfer copy files manipulate them save them and do anything you need without having to worry about uh, iTunes and uh, similar to what I experienced in the past with the Blackberry which never really gave us any real barriers uh, so any Blackberry users will find this much easier to do and uh, same with the uh, Android systems thank you